Hey, what's up guys? Kelly from Droid Life. We're finally getting our hands on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Obviously just announced EVA in Berlin and at a simultaneous event here in New York City. So uh, let's just run through it really quickly. Uh, it's going to come in white and black and then there's going to be pink versions. Now Samsung's gone with a different sort of material this time around. Rather than the slippery sort of gross glossy plastic back, they've gone with a faux leather which we believe will be able to be swapped out for uh, either metallic looks or other leather materials if you like. Um, so you don't necessarily have to stick with this uh, faux leather. And you can see it's even got even got stitching going up and down the side. So it's definitely a sort of notebook, almost leatherish look to it. Tweets their own, I guess. You've got a 13 megapixel camera up top. On the front, you're looking at a 5.7 inch or 5.68 inch full HD Super AMOLED display. Obviously, you've got the S Pen laying right there. Uh, this is a demo unit of the international version. It's coming obviously globally everywhere, though. I'm not sure we have specific launch details, but I can get those. I'm sure they were in the press release. I haven't read yet. Uh, if we look at the camera UI really quickly, it looks pretty standard stuff in terms of uh, Samsung software. You've got all of your modes. If I can uh, hit the right button here. We've got all of your modes down here. Oh, it's actually showing them to me in sort of a different layout um, rather than the wheel. But we can go ahead and snap a picture. It works just like you normally see. Camera stuff, we'll have to dive in that later to see what's really new in there. Um, you're still looking at standard sort of Samsung TouchWiz, which you've all grown accustomed to over the years. If we jump into the notification shade, pull down, you've got all of your quick toggles. It is running Android 4.3, um, so you do have actually a full page full of notifications or I'm sorry, toggles over here, notifications obviously in there. If we jump into settings, you can see that they've actually redone the entire settings menu from the Galaxy S4. So we sort of were hard on them about this a little bit because the organization was completely messed up. And now you've got connections, device, controls, and then general. So it's a little bit better organized. Uh, you see all of your controls down here. Here's your device section. Um, controls is where you're going to spend all of your time with voice input, hands-free mode your air gestures, your air your air command, all the new stuff. And then generals where you're going to find um, the battery storage about device. Let me go ahead and show you that. It's running Android 4.3. So it's running the newest version of Android, which is, which is pretty good for Samsung. They've been on top of that more than just about anyone. Uh, one of the features I do want to show you, this video could get long, bear with me, is if you do this swipe up, sort of, oops, if you do this, uh, there was a little bit delayed. Let's go back home and try that all over again. Do this swipe up from the bottom of the screen. This is where you get into their new feature, which I already forgot the name of, but it's exactly like HTC's blue feed. You see you scroll through it, you get news, and it sort of updates depending on your location is what I was told. I believe you can also fit in uh, social media feeds and stuff. It's essentially Flipboard slash blink feed combined into one. So again, to access that, you actually do this swiping gesture from the bottom of the screen and it pulls itself right up. And uh, this is definitely not a one-handed device, but you guys know that already struggling to use camera and navigate. So again, swipe up, that's how you access that. All right, so I'm gonna set the phone there. Hopefully it stays there while we S Pen it up for a second. So S Pen's got some new things going on. Uh, first of all, the pen can be inserted into the device either way. It doesn't really matter how you throw it in. You used to have to put the pen in a specific way because it had sort of a tapered edge on it. Now you can actually put this in whichever way you'd like to work. So they've done a couple of new things. Um, probably the coolest that I've seen so far is uh, if I can get this pen right. So if you hover, hover and click once, you get your menu up. And if you go to this pen window option, you can then, uh, that's the instructions, you can then draw a square or a rectangle or whatever you'd like, and it essentially pulls up a pop-up box. And then uh, it gives you op options to uh, whatever you want to load in that pop-up box. So I could do calculator, and it loads calculator in that exact spot. Now you can do this multiple times. So let's say I've got the calculator open and I want to open up another box. That's what they keep telling me that. Open up another box with uh, the browser. So now you can actually have another box on top of another box. You can see how you can just keep going with this. Um, you can actually close them. You can resize them. You can go full screen if you like. So they've done a whole bunch of stuff there with the S Pen. Um, obviously you can click and double tap to get into Memo. I believe that was in the previous version. Um, so they've done a whole bunch of new technology with the pen, which we'll obviously be able to dive into later on. But, um, in terms of Samsung apps, this is what you're looking at. 
there's quite a few of them. So we haven't even gotten into carrier add-ons or things like that yet. Uh, I do believe there are only 32 gig and 64 gig versions of the device, meaning all of the new add-on stuff was too much for a 16 gig version of the phone. So you do only have two options, but you guys aren't going to complain about storage. Uh, battery, I believe, is about 3,200 milliamp hour, Snapdragon 800 or Octa-Core, depending on the market. In the U.S., you're probably going to see the uh, Snapdragon 800. So uh, that's just a quick overview, and uh, we'll have more, obviously, down the road once we get our hands on this in some greater length. Anyways, enjoy life. Peace.